YouTube, Dharma Tech Junior again with Jay. And this time we're going to be uh, trying one we've got from Gee from Beer Guy, Beer Guy Reviews. This one's a winter brewed coffee amber. And it has a Yeti on it. It's awesome. I don't know about you guys, but here in Nervous, we love Yetis. We have them. Yes. And they're giants. And you're related to one. Your yeah. brother's a Yeti. True story. That's in the Bible. Oh, it is in the Bible. Oh, you're going to read that one. All right. Here we go. Winter Brood. That's one word. Winter Brood is Bo and Brighthead's Bo's and Brighthead collaboration that celebrates all that brewing great beer and great coffee have in common. Winter Brood is an amber lager brewed with a blend of Mexican, Guatemalan, and Ethiopian organic fair trade coffee from Bridgehead. Malty, roasted, toasted flavors of coffee and barley meld with nutty, fruity inflections. The interplay is carried forward in the aroma where caramel, peach, and a touch of lime and vanilla underpin fresh coffee and amber malt notes. This is a caramel and peach? Wow. And this one's 6% uh, at 600 milliliters, so she's a nice giant bottle. All nice and boss from the bows. And I don't suppose the twist off, nope. We forgot twist offs here. It's or we forgot a bottle opener. So, and here we go. Nicely done, sir. And Jay might as well pour it because. Because I'm awesome at it. I got some terrible pours, so. Wow. It's nice and dark. It's an amber, amber pour. There you go, sir. Right on. Wow. <laughs> nice and cloudy. Very amber, eh? Beautiful color. That's for sure. Without question. Okay. <clears throat> now, what do we have for the smell? Besides the smell, you know. <laughs> nice. See, that, that cloudy color, that that, that you get from craft beer. I love that shit, right? Well, that's that's, that's not mass, mass production at all. That's yeah. like people take care of this shit, right? Fuck. What do you get from that? Isn't that wild? What the fuck is that? Almost a little bit lime. Yeah, it's like lime or uh I'm getting celery, that's kind of weird, but that's what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting asparagus pee. Asparagus. Asparagus. But no, he's not getting asparagus pee. Asparagus pee. Lime and coffee. Lime flavored coffee. Wow. Cheers. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a taste. Wow. That's interesting. Fuck, that's, that's fucking tasty. Um, it's almost like, a, it's like a tea, not like a tea or, you know what I mean? There's something in there. It's, this wow. is one of those beers that, if you're full on set in your heart of hearts, with your brand name domestic beer, you're gonna hate this shit. Oh, wow. But if you actually enjoy different beers, craft beers, um, something that's a little bit, um, wow. you know, wow. off the wall, this, is, this awesome. is amazing. This is off the wall. It's like a coffee and a beer at the same time. I can't even think what the, uh, I mean, what that smell? I don't know. It, it, I mean, there's, there's, there's like uh, 
Lime and coffee. There's like a burnt coffee tape or burnt coffee tape or smell there, you know what I mean? Are you getting that? I'm not getting burnt coffee. What I'm getting um, is that smell like uh, when you first start brewing a coffee while it's brewing. Yeah. Like yeah. not, you know what I mean? That's definitely it, man. This is, <clears throat> wow. There was uh, almost like an orange pico, like a tea. You know what I mean? Are you getting that off it? No. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting too much tea off it. I'm getting a strong coffee flavor, but I'm smelling like a lime or something. I mean, it's like a... Like one of those lime or lemon um, millers or whatever the hell that crap is, right? <clears throat> Hmm. But it's, it's like a, it's around a medium body, like a medium body taste, a little bit lower maybe. But yeah, it's, it's it's not a mouthful, that's for sure. But um, yeah, I mean on the back end, right in the after, he's freaking amazing. You think so? I love coffee. I do love coffee, and I do love beer. And this right here is probably about halfway between the two. I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, the carbonation is great. It's not uh, overpowering. I mean, you get a nice little tingle out of it. Um, the cloudiness, uh, you know, obviously from the last beer we tried, I've uh, gotten over that that whole sight thing. Um, but this is amazing. I, I can't believe this shit right here. This is pretty good fucking stuff, man. Hey, take another smell of it, man. Mm. Ah, fucking wicked. It is wicked. You're wearing way too much pants, by the way. You were gargless. <laughs> I'm wearing uh, one boot and uh, half underwear. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, Gee, uh, man. Fuck, gee, thanks. Gee. Thanks, Gee. This is a... Uh, this is good shit right here, man. This is really good shit. I don't even sure what to say about it. Uh, this isn't something I could drink all night, but by the fuck, I will tell you right now that this is one hell of a treat. Oh, this is amazing. Well, I couldn't drink it all night anyway, because I don't think we can get that here. No. Nope. Yeah, but uh, what do you think we're waiting for? Uh... I would give this, because of its uniqueness, um... It's amazing flavor and everything about it. I'd give this a solid 4.5. And I'm going the same with Jay, four and a half. Wicked, man. We finally agree on something. Cheers, guys.